Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I want to cover the new Scrapebox Vanity Name Checker add-on. So just like any other add-on, to install it you go to Add-ons and Show Available Add-ons, and then once the list comes up you just find it, Vanity Name Checker, install it, and away you go. Once that's done, you go to Add-ons and then you find it in the list. Probably can't see it on the video because it's way down here at the bottom, but the Vanity Name Checker comes up. And what the Vanity Name Checker does is it allows you to check for like your brand name or a keyword or that sort of thing for particular platforms, and these are the platforms as of the recording of this video, to see if your name or keyword, etc., is available. Also, you can load in a list of URLs, so if you already have a list of URLs, like say you were selling blue widgets, and you wanted bluewidgets.tumblr.com or bluewidgets.wordpress.com. This will check to see if that's available. Now say you already had a list of URLs that was like bluewidgets.tumblr.com. You could load that list in and it'll check to see if they're available as well. So it works both ways. You do have to uh, toggle the switch here, but I'm going to go ahead and do some keywords. So we can actually, as we, let me move this up so you can see here your options. You can load keywords from Scrapebox from a file or from the clipboard, and then you can load URLs the same from Scrapebox, a file, or the clipboard. If you use URLs, you need to check off the box. If you don't use URLs, you don't, and if you hover over it, it'll tell you that. Um, with the tool pop up there and you can clear out the list of keywords pretty basic start once we're done uh, there's export settings as well and then the actual settings brings up this window here which gives you your platforms you can tick off what you want and then we have our number of connections it's set to 30 I'm just gonna leave it at that and then exit pretty basic so I'm just gonna punch in some basic keywords here um, just random and see what happens so we'll hit start and away we go. So we can type in the keywords or load them as well. So as we go through here, we can see the site. We can see the proxy being used. If you're using proxies, you would want to load them, of course, in Scrapebox and tick off the use proxies box. Then we're going to see the platform over here, the result, and then the status. And it looks like it's done. We can see a lot of takens and definitely some available. So we can get uh, flickr.com forward slash people blue widgets. So blue widgets is available for Flickr. And then you can see what's there. Once we have that done, we can go to export and we can do export sites available, uh, sites taken, and then export all sites to an Excel file. So pretty basic, but very powerful, allow you to gather um, all of your keywords or brand names across all these URLs that are available and really go to town and get a great um, either sites that link to your sites like tier one type sites or tier two type sites or just authority sites that you could put uh, information on maybe like pre-sales pages or um, you know funnel type pages to that sort of thing reviews or if you just want to go out there and uh, you know make some pages for whatever so you can load in URLs or keywords you can pull in keywords from Scrapebox and then when it's all done you have multiple export settings and then of course you see here we can open it up in a default browser and view it and then go ahead and go register so that is how the Scrapebox vanity name checker works